Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday Live guest, Kareem Jackson. Uh, what'd you make and name that Bronco? Uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it was difficult. The second one was yeah. the 40-inch bird the, and the eagle. I knew the former eagle thing would throw you off. Yeah, it, it definitely threw me off. I didn't even know Boston College were the eagles. <laughs> Come on, really? I did. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> I was going to say, Jay's going to give me crap. Yeah, he'll give me crap. For sure. We can't all go to Alabama, you know what I mean, and be ranked in the top 10 every year. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you said top 10. We failed. We failed. You said you're supposed to say top five, but top we five. failed right. this year. Right, right, yeah. Oh, it was tough awful year. this year. That's yeah. okay. We'll Just be back, though. Send, right, send up for a bounce we'll be, back. We'll be back. Um, hey, let's talk about your current team, the Broncos, and uh, obviously coming off a big win at the Texans. You got Kansas City this week. Second time right. you guys have played them this year what can you take away from that Thursday night game at mile high from earlier in the season um, for us I mean obviously defensively defensively we know how explosive they are you know uh, just one of those things we have to have a great week of practice uh, great preparation you know we have to go in and we have to execute you know uh, we can't have any miscues we all have to be on the same page secondary wise because of the, uh, the threat that those guys pose with with all of those um, dynamic weapons that Mahomes has. We know what type of guy he is. He can make every throw. He can keep the play alive, run around a little bit. And um, we just have to be ready to go there and execute in all three phases in a hostile environment. You know, it used to be that every once in a while you saw a quarterback who had the ability that Patrick Mahomes has. Right. From your perspective, does it seem like now you're seeing those guys every, every single week? week? Right, yeah, every other week. You know, from seeing Deshaun Watson last week to – now seeing Patrick Mahomes, you know, and uh, we got some other guys that can run around, keep the play alive, you know. Um, I mean, I guess that's just the, the way the league is, is you know, kind of leaning towards, you know, as far as the quarterback position. But, um, I mean, it's definitely tough, you know, facing a dual threat guy. We talked about your homecoming going to Houston. We also talked about Drew Locke, and this will be his homecoming. Right. What advice would you give Locke as he goes to play in Kansas City, the place where he dreamed of playing, by right. the way, as a kid, just wearing the opposing team's colors now? Just got to downplay everything this week. All the questions <laughs> everybody's going to ask you about going home and all this and that. You just got to treat it like a regular week. You know, just, you know, go out and have a great week of practice. Not not let all the other stuff outside of football, you know, kind of get to, you know, he's probably going to have a ton of family there. You know, everybody want to come to the game. But at the end of the day, you know, for us, it's, it's, we're going there with one goal. You know, um, he's our leader now. We're going to rally behind him, you know, going into his into his home state. And, you know, and we're going there to get the job done. So basically tell everybody that it's not a revenge game. It's not, it's, not game. it's not a revenge game. It's not a revenge game. It's not personal. On the calendar. It's not any of that. And then you know, go it's, out it's and play some big on the hits, calendar. Get up, flex, stare <laughs> down the opposing team's bench. Yeah, all that stuff. That stuff just kind of came out. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do any of that. It just kind of came out at that point in time. It's like it feels right right now, and it's just... And after I was like, oh, man, I wasn't supposed to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think you had every right to do that. <laughs> hey, I want to bring in our guy, Kenny, from Kenzo's Customs. He uh, created this last night. Is that right, Kenny? You got a special gift for our, for our guest. Oh, man. I got the gloves. Everything was from yesterday. So I man, finished it up. That's pretty I, sweet. The tats were tough because I had to just go based on what I could see online. So they're a little bit, but you know, you get the you get the gist. I get it, yeah. Put that yeah, around yeah, so the camera can see it. Would you sweet, agree? Man. <laughs> I like that. That is awesome. That's Gotta have your own sweet. Kenzo, though, man. Gotta have it. How long did it? Uh, so, so tell me, there's different parts to all of this, right? Right. Take me through right. well, how this thing came together. This particular one, and, and the reason I was able to kind of get it done so quickly, it was a Clay Matthews with the flex pose. So I completely painted it white, redid everything, redecaled it. The helmet was actually in the face mask was 3D printed. And then oh, wow. if you look at the face, if you look close enough, that was Ray Lewis I took because he was it was the one with the mouth open where he's yelling. So put those all together, repainted it, got everything done, got the shoes right, got the gloves right. We're good. Man, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> that, that's just, so that one kind of puts in the game to, at Houston. Now it's immortalized, man. There you yeah. go. You got the game <laughs> ball. You got oh, your own you. Kenzo's Thank Customs you. as well. Uh, Ryan Green did a great piece on you. And I know you hooked uh, Ryan Ryan's up with his yeah. own uh, He's Kenzo's got his Customs too. Him and Romy as well. Both, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, tell people how they can find you on social media. Um, it's uh, Kenzo's Customs. It's You could do any of the social media. It's uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, or Facebook. Drove up from Pueblo today to hand deliver that man, to yeah. our guests. Absolutely, man. Hey, hey you know what? Sweet. It just it reminds me of when we had 
like a TJ. And when we had that, we had that energy and we had those hard hits. And I love seeing it back, man. So, I mean, I had to. Uh, so, appreciate I appreciate it. you. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thanks for coming on the show, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for stopping hey, by and for delivering that it. gift. And thank you for logging on to CBSDenver.com.